Hey guys, so this is going to be my first Halloween tutorial, I suppose. I found this painting on, I think I saw it on Pinterest by, what's that name? Paul Richard? I can't see it from here, I have to be really far away. Uh, and I wanted to recreate it, um, basically. I mean, it's like sort of inspo, I guess. So I'm wearing Desio contacts, I believe in the shade Innocent White, I can't remember exactly. Um, so I'm starting off by <laughs> gluing my eyebrows because I wanted them to be like non-existent, bro. I don't know how people do this. I feel like every time I do it, it doesn't go well, you know? So I'm trying to use the glue stick that everybody talks about. Maybe it's not the right one. Maybe it's too old. I don't know what my problem is. I went in a million times, smoothed it out, like brushed it, went in with more glue, and I just felt like it was like pilling up and getting plasticky. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going in with my LA Girl concealer in light ivory to do some color correcting. Because obviously like the hair is darker than your skin, so you want to kind of like warm it up before you apply concealer or foundation over top. Um, and I always see people like really pack on the stuff. So I'm going in with powder to set it and then I'm loading up on this concealer by Juvia's Place, which is super full coverage. I can't remember what color it is. I'll link everything down below, but um, <laughs> obviously loading that up and then like blending it out and then building up this, seriously, this process, took the longest out of this entire tutorial, I think. Building up powder, building up concealer. It was such a, it was just like so long, like way too much of a process. But uh, I don't know. I guess we, we got somewhere in the end. It just wasn't like completely perfect. Super cute. So I'm using this um, nude pencil by the brand Swede Lashes to sketch out the shape. Uh, if you're doing something light, use like a nude pencil. And then if you're doing something that's gonna be like black, you want to use like, I don't know, like gray or like a brown. It doesn't have to be like exactly the same color so that you have like a lighter sketch. And then I'm just applying more of that like Juvia's Place concealer, obviously, because it's super duper light. Uh, I don't like to use white just because I feel like it can be really harsh. And then I'm just going in with a brush to like blend, you know, the harder areas, especially around the edge so that I, you know, it doesn't get like too diffused. And then I felt like it got a little, like I lost the shape a little bit. So I'm going in with a makeup wipe just to kind of like refine. Like I really wanted to amplify those cheekbones and then also just like a sharpness kind of around the jawline. This is pretty much the only stuff that I like use makeup wipes for, you know? So I'm going in with my LC powder once again. And I honestly, I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was setting the areas that were going to maintain the lightness. Like I think that it was the areas that were going to be white. And honestly, I don't know why, but maybe it was the opposite. I don't remember. Uh, that's the thing about these creative looks, man. You're just kind of like in the zone. I'm going in with this blue about face pencil. I'm gonna start, start sketching out the blue. Uh, the skull itself or the painting was a little bit more of a royal blue, but I wanted to create like a lot more dimension. I was taking some artistic liberties, all right? So I'm going in with this kind of like mid-tone blue just to sketch. Um, I've always found that I'm much better when it comes to pencil. Like I'm, I'm a much stronger uh, draftsman than I am painter. So using a pencil is just like a lot easier for me to really like get the details. Uh, you could use like a body paint or something like that to sketch out. And now I'm going, I think this is Urban Decay. Now I'm going in with this, which is a royal blue. I'm gonna start like building up a little bit more of the like darker mid-tones, I guess. Um, just starting to like create dimension and amp up the shapes. But once again, I mean, I just kind of had these lying around. Honestly, like as far as products go, creams are good, but I liked that these were a little bit more matte. So they weren't slipping as much. And I just felt like I had like a little bit more control over them, you know? I do end up using um, those KVD brow things later, which are like some of my absolute favorites. Uh, and they dry relatively quickly. So as far as like painting on your face, it's really nice because they don't like stay super wet. Once again, about face, uh, can't remember what color this is, but like, look at that. Is that the most beautiful color? Like, of course I dyed my hair mint, you know? So now I'm starting to go in with like a little bit more of the creams and doing some blending. I'm using a slightly like larger brush. Well, I guess I'm using a brush at all, right? Uh, and just kind of like mapping out the larger sections of color, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I really loved that color. It was so beautiful. And I like this. I actually do like this product a lot. Um, it starts off cream 
obviously, so like you can blend it. It does start to set pretty quick. So you do have to like start blending immediately. It's the kind of thing that if you want to use it as like an eyeshadow base, you want to like really blend immediately. Now I'm going in with the white KVD Super Brow, is that what they're called? Uh, with this little like Morphe brush and I'm mapping out the whites, the, uh, the highlights. And uh, once again, I really like this just because it's like, I'm, I'm painting now, you know what I mean? So like this is a little bit thicker of a product, I think, for your face but that's kind of what I wanted. Like I wanted to be able to like build it up and make it look like paint swatches, you know? Um, so just sketching out those highlights. I don't know if it's like distracting to watch it go this fast, but I kind of enjoy it. This is from Melt Cosmetics, one of their gel liners, which I'll be honest with you, was so hard to remove. <laughs> like I got in the shower and I washed my face, like I double cleansed, and I got out of the shower and I still had black on my face and I was like, oh shit, I had to get back in the shower and like do it again. Um, so this shit's like intense if you're looking for something that isn't gonna move. Uh, but so I went in with this and I think this is like a little lip brush or like a, a nail brush from OPI. I don't know what I'm using, but I'm obviously like going in with the darks. Um, it's amazing how many times I had to like stretch, dude. I, this is honestly, it didn't take as long as I thought it was going, or as long as it felt like. It only took like maybe an hour and 45 minutes or something, but damn man, I was just like, you know, going in. My back was really starting to hurt. By the way, I am wearing a top. Whenever I do these looks, I'm always wearing just like a strapless top. Just, you know, for all you freaks out there. Anyway, um, so obviously I think like if you know anything about painting, the most important thing to start off with are your mid-tones and then start building up your like darks and lights uh, slowly, right? So you wanna start off like with larger sections and then you can start going in with your details, which is why I went in with my like, sketched out my mid-tones first, went in with my like larger sections of highlight and now I'm going in with the detail of the black and then I'm basically going to finish off with like highlighting details once I have like all of this stuff drawn in. Yeah, what can I say about this? When I started sketching out the teeth, which is coming, <laughs> um, I really didn't like the way they looked. Like I, I, I don't know if it's gonna be obvious in this because I speed through it so much, but when I started sketching them, I really didn't like the way it looked like as far as the painting. Like the, when I looked at the painting, it looked fine, right? But when I started putting it on my face, I was like, oh, I don't like this. So I started taking some like serious artistic liberties with the teeth, like, changing things. Um, I'm obviously like popping in some details, little dots and shit. Yeah, this stuff was so hard to get out of my hair. What is that? Oh, I started off with the Makeup by Mario liquid liner, but I don't know if it had just dried out or if it just like wasn't working well on top of these other products, but I had to switch. So I ended up using the House Labs liner in Punk. Uh, this is the black one. And it was a little bit more like liquidy so I'm going, I'm just going in with this for detail. In retrospect, I think something that had like a brush, a little bit more of a brush would be really good uh, because it would probably be just like a little bit more liquidy. Like this isn't meant for this, you know? Um, but I'm just like sketching in all the details, including the teeth, just like the smaller black lines. Um, and this is where it just started to, I was like, I don't know about this, man. Like my placement seemed really weird. I got, I just got like really messed up with like where things were supposed to go. So I sketched them out the way that I thought they should look. And then I ended up going in with like a bone color, I think later on and just, or, or in a minute and just kind of like, I don't know, trying to correct mistakes, but yeah. Like you can probably hear my laptop, it's so loud. Um, so now I'm going in with the K, so this is another one of the KVD Super Brows, but it's not the white one. I don't know what color it's, I don't know what it's called, but it's the bone one. And this is where I started to like, once I started putting it in for the teeth, I was like, oh, this looks weird. So I kind of started to like blend them up, like so you could see the root of the teeth a little bit. So this is where my artistic liberty came in. Um, because I just wasn't really, I don't know, it was kind of looking like a little bit of a joke <laughs> on me for some reason, and I wanted to look, it to look cooler. So now I'm using that same color on, I believe, a melt brush. I don't actually know, but it's just like a long, like one of those skinny liner brushes, and I'm adding like highlights with that bone color. So just kind of back and forth with the, uh, with the details from light to dark, or dark to light, I mean. 
hopefully this gives you just kind of like an idea if you're trying to do this kind of thing and you have absolutely no idea how to start. This is literally how you would like begin a painting, basically. Very time consuming. And I think I definitely added like more detail than was actually in the painting, but I don't know, just kind of like as I was going, I wanted to add certain things so that it like pleased me as a painter. Uh, oh, you know what I didn't know, uh, right, uh, fuck. You know what I didn't mention is I forgot that my camera had a soft focus lens on it when I started filming this. And I don't know if it's necessarily like the most flattering thing for this. Like I actually think this looked better in person where it's like you can see the roughness of the uh, strokes and stuff, but I'm not mad at it. Like it's fine. Um, but yeah, there is a soft focus lens on there. Cause I, I like to mess around with that occasionally for like beauty shots. Wow, this really did take a long time. I gotta say, this is so much fun though. These are my favorite looks to do where I'm just like, not, no offense to you guys, not talking to anyone and I can just focus on what I'm doing. Like I was just listening to like music or a podcast and I can just like focus, you know? Oh, so much fun. It like really, really is, it just fosters so much more creativity when you don't have to think about like explaining something, you know? Like I know that um, voiceovers are boring to listen to, but it's just like, oh, I create some of my best stuff when I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm just popping in, a, popping in some black dots. I noticed some like little, what looks like splatters on the painting. So I wanted to pop in some, some of those details. And then for my lashes, I didn't want to do nothing. So I went in, I always keep this benefit, this like blue benefit mascara for this kind of stuff. So I just added a little bit so that the lashes didn't look like disconnected because there was like powder on them and stuff, you know? Um, all right, guys. That's it. That's the look. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if anyone recreates this, please tag me in photos if you post them. And uh, let me know if you want to see more looks like this. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon.